Apathetic Weekend Update. I'm your host, Guy, who's in denial his shampoo ran out a week ago. Our top story tonight, tragedy last weekend after the strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Western Hemisphere hit North America, causing zero deaths. The tragedy being media outlets actually had to work this news cycle. And that apparently hurricanes are still being named by old white ladies. Moving on, in Hawaii, a lesbian couple kissing in public were wrongfully arrested by an officer who likely didn't realize that stopping lesbians from kissing came off way gayer than lesbians kissing. And, uh, can we get the actual picture of what those are? (laughs) Wow. Dude must have been super gay. Glad I don't have to do a standing monologue. This week, China ended its one-child-only policy. So finally, women can stop coming back in disguises to have a second child. In Blunt Force Trauma Year news, a Walking Dead fan beat his friend to death while binge-watching the TV show, which I think is how we all felt during the second season. Uh, The man claimed he did it because he thought his friend was turning into a zombie, which, to be fair, is pretty close to Netflix's M.O., uh, only with a higher-than-plague success rate. Ugh. Like an idiot, I woke up late today, missed out on all the good Halloween candy sales, uh, leaving me with... Molasses Kisses. That's a real name. Sounds like something they'd sell after the apocalypse. This week, Donald Trump was skewered for saying he was given a small loan of a million dollars when he started out. Uh, But if you think about it, Uh, He took that money, he worked hard, and he finally earned a net worth of $4 billion. uh, Which is kind of like if my parents lent me $10, I took that money, I worked hard, and I finally earned their respect and approval. 47 pieces to a bag. Why? Such a weird number for no reason. I feel like I'm going to break out Birkenstocks and V-necks. On Monday, Arkansas rejected marijuana legislation due to spelling errors in the proposal. Hate to break it to you, Arkansas, but those weren't spelling errors. Potheads just name everything while high. Moving on, this week, women's clinics in the Middle East were shut down by ISIS. Halloween in Tokyo was shut down by the Yakuza. And the Value Village from Macklemore's thrift shop was shut down, likely because we all want to put that part of our history in the past. Mm, open right. Oh. Tastes like someone dipped a boot in corn shop. This week, a resilient cracker that survived the Titanic sold for $23,000. And uh, not that one. There we go. You hear that? It's just part of my teeth now. And that's it for your Apathetic Weekend update. If you made it all the way through the video without a why am I watching this epiphany, please like, comment below, share, maybe even subscribe. Uh, Yeah. I've been your host, guy who spots the girl he had a crush on years ago at the grocery store, but doesn't have the courage to say hi, so instead he just stands near her, hoping she'll recognize him and initiate the hello, but it never happens. Good night. You know, these aren't actually that bad if your mouth already tastes like ash from the night before.